What's up guys, Justin Does What here, and in this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how I built a golf cart from the frame up. This was a huge learning experience, and it took me about three months to fully complete between ordering the parts, getting everything in, and getting it all assembled. At this time, it doesn't have a roof on it because I didn't account for the height of the lift kit that I was putting on it. I hope you guys stick around and enjoy this build. All right, so we just completed getting the front suspension back together, and I just wanna give you guys a few tips. You may need a mount to get the A-frame on here and a little bit of grease. Uh, that will help it go inside of this bracketed area right here. So now we are going to move to the back suspension, and we're gonna get this axle back together. Let's get to it. So we've got the rear differential and axle back together for the most part. We're gonna leave one of the axles out for right now. That way we can fill it with differential fluid later in the assembly. The next step here is to get the leaf springs on so then we can put the suspension kit and rehang the axle. I had to go get some new hardware from the hardware store because the kit that I bought for the leaf springs did not include the actual bolts and nuts. They wanted you to use the old stuff and the old stuff I had was stripped out and just terrible. So let's get to it. Let's start getting these leaf springs on and get the axle back on. All right, so you guys may have noticed in the last time lapse that we were unable to complete the rear suspension and that's because some of the plates for the bottom of the leaf springs, they were unusable, they were too rusty. So my brother here, Luke the Welder, he's going to um, cut us some new plates on the plasma table that we can use to complete the back end suspension. I'm Luke the Welder, I'm Justin Does What's brother and today we're gonna be cutting plates for Justin here on the plasma table. The only reason I'm not wearing any safety glasses is because I'm wearing glasses and then I'm safety squinting on top of that. Now it's clean. Nothing like using some big pliers. To get off the ball, Bro, man. Don't, don't show that. The world doesn't need to know my ghetto tricks. <laughs> it's what I got laying around, bro. You make me look like I don't know what I'm doing. Do you, though? Depends on who's asking. That's one. Sweet. All right, there's our plates. go that works here you go bro thanks dude now we just got to paint them 
Make right. him look good. Let's get to it. Hey brother, thanks for helping me out, man. Got now it, I can finally get my cart done. Yeah, man. We got the plates done for the spring plates, and uh, we'll be heading back to the house to finish up. See Can't you guys. To see it. All right, we are back at the house. My brother made these quarter-inch plates for underneath the axle. We're gonna get this rear suspension back together. Finally, I ordered some new shocks, and we are gonna get this all back together. So the next step to this is gonna to be to get the differential fluid in there, get the driver's side axle back on, and then we'll get the motor on. If you guys are wondering how to do a differential oil change, I do have a video on my channel already for this, for the RXV specifically. Go check it out. I'll throw a link in the description though to help you find it easier. Let's get it done. All right guys, so we got the rear end together. We got the leaf springs on. We got the motor on. We also got the wheels, the axles, the hubs on, and we also did the differential fluid change on it. Now the next step is to get the body pieces on. Um, we're gonna start with the floor, then we're gonna get uh, the controller on and the wiring harness put back together, get the dash on. We're just gonna start basically getting into the body pieces now and uh, you're gonna notice that I'm gonna start out by detailing out some of the plastics so they look really good. Even some of the parts we're not gonna see so that way if anybody ever takes it apart, it looks just immaculate. Let's get to it. All right guys, so for the next part of this, we are going to build the Mad Jax Apex body. I'm really excited. We still have a few other things to add onto the cart, like the brake pedal, the light kit, the turn signal kit and stuff, but I just want to get into the getting the body on there. I'm really excited about it. We got the Colorado Slate, which is a really cool color. So I hope you guys are excited to see this. I'm about to put this body together. Just to make sure we don't scratch it, I got some moving blankets today at Harbor Freight. I was supposed to have a workbench come in, but it hasn't come in yet. 
So we're gonna build this thing on the ground. Also, I don't know if you guys noticed the other day, but when I was detailing the battery tray, it was broken. So I ordered a new one from Eco Battery. Uh, we're gonna try it out. I've never used their system before, but I'm excited to throw this battery tray in. It's gonna be a lot better than the broken one we had. Let's get to it. Go!
So as you guys can see, we're done building the golf cart. And to answer the question, is it worth it? It depends. If you're trying to make a huge profit on a cart, building it from the frame up is not the way to go. But if you're just looking for a fun, challenging time, then it's totally worth it, in my opinion. It was kind of expensive, but it was a lot of fun. I learned so much about golf carts. In the future, we're gonna be making this a 72 volt battery golf cart instead, which will give it more pickup, more acceleration, and more speed. We're gonna try to hit 50 at some point in this thing. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you all have a great day. Make sure you hit that sub button. See you.